What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Prince Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown on Scott Report on Noah Sewell. If you're new here, check out the channel. We have over 80 different prospect breakdowns and playlists and seven round mock drafts coming out pretty soon. So without further ado, let's get into this one. He's 6'2", 246 pounds, junior linebacker from Oregon. Stats from three seasons, he's had 218 tackles. 20.5 tackles for loss, 7.5 sacks, 2 interceptions, 9 pass deflections, 1 fumble recovery, and 3 fourth fumbles. Awards from him, he was Pac-12 Defensive Freshman of the Year in 2020, first team all Pac-12 in 2021, and second team all Pac-12 in 2022. Strength from him, Sewell is a physical linebacker with great effort. He's by far the best block shedding linebacker in the class. He plays with strength to control blocks and sheds them away using his huge frame. Sewell uses his hands very well. He stacks and sheds blocks with strong hands. He's physical at the point of attack with a nice strike. He also uses his hands closing in at the catch point in coverage. He has really good instincts as a read and react player. He reads defenses really well and carries his weight well moving sideline to sideline. He plays with a ton of energy and is a high motor player overall. Cons from though, he's stiff in his lower body and lacks that change direction skills to be as rangy in coverage. He also can be beaten at top speed. He ran a 464, which is not which is probably faster than how he actually plays on film. He has some missed tackles in the last two seasons and needs to, you know, clean up his tackling technique as well. Pro comparison, I'm gonna have to go with Jelani Tavai. They're same size, heavy inside linebackers that play well in the run, in zone, and as blitzers. Sewell's pass rush toolbox and block shedding ability really remind me most of Tavai. He was seen as a bust second rounder, but now he's on the Patriots starting on the inside and hasn't been too bad lately, and he definitely regenerated his career. Team Fitz, I'm going to have to go with the Cowboys. They made no progress with trying to re-sign Van Der Esch, and he might not come back. Same with Anthony Barr. Sewell has the strength and has you know the ability to play as an inside middle linebacker and will be able to shut down the run really early. I think he's definitely one of those guys that can come in, start out the gate with a great, as he had a great college career so far. Draft projection, I'm gonna have to go a third round. He had a solid combine, has been you know passed from being the number one linebacker that everybody had during the preseason. He didn't prove athletically that he's the best and should be a late day two pick. Uh, though, you know, I think that he could come in to rebuild franchises and have maybe 120 tackles his rookie season. He's one of those type of players that can dominate with great production. Uh, he's definitely going to be most effective out the gate. He's still my sixth linebacker until, he, you know, he can participate at his pro day and prove how athletic, you know, he can be. But overall, right now, I was a bit disappointed as well because, you know, he was 6'2", 260, around 260. Um, as a linebacker, he was a really big linebacker that was a little bit slower and everybody knew that he wasn't athletically gifted, but he dropped to 246 and we still got a 464, which is not really impressive, uh, coming from, you know, what he dropped. So we'll have to see how that translates, how he plays at 246 if we hasn't seen that since, or if he just regains those pounds and goes back to around 255. If that's all, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the channel for a lot more content. Comment down below what kind of video you might want to see. Thank you guys for watching and peace.